Don't we have a night off? Of course. I'll have a French 75. I saw some cows, you know, whiskey. Shh, shh, shh. Come in, quickly. <laughs> Didn't last night mean anything? I was drunk, and I regret it bitterly. Morning, Harry. I do hope you enjoy the column I'm going to write. This is tittle title. This will blow over. My family means everything to me, and I will not have their names smeared. Did you sleep with her? Is this her revenge? Get out. You mean the world to me, Kitty. Perhaps we were a little hasty dismissing the idea of children. Oh. Were they hasty indeed? Well, look, Samuel West, who plays Frank Edwards, joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hello. Uh, what, uh, what was he thinking? Well, um, he woke up hating himself in his defence. No. Oh. I think Frank feels a bit like he's, he's running to catch up with Kitty. I think he was brought up thinking that women were happy with a, a marriage and a baby and a home. And, of course, now, in the late 20s, they're, they're really not. She wants a career first. She's very ambitious, isn't she? She is, and that's one of the things he loves in her. But um, he doesn't fully understand how to control her, and he thinks he probably should, which, of course, is not a modern idea of a marriage, as far yeah. as Kitty's concerned. What was going through his mind when he thought a good idea would be to have a fling with a gossip columnist? <laughs> um, quite a lot of alcohol, yeah. I think, was going through his mind. And I suppose, in a quiet way, a cry for help and also being a bit of an idiot. I just wonder whether if you have an affair <laughs> with a gossip columnist, you were more, you'd think you were more protected because the one person who's going to write about it would also have a self-interest in not writing about it. It's not exactly how it worked out. Not yeah. at all. It's, ve it's very self-destructive. It's sort of suicide, isn't it? It's madness. Mm. But he as, as a PR well. consultant. He's yeah. a PR yeah. consultant. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. his job he to know that. I know. He's, pro he's provoked a crisis. And I think it's, it's, I mean, his, his therapist would say it was semi-deliberate. Yeah. Do, uh, <laughs> the, what we're, I'm not sure you can tell us, but we want, th we want them to work out, because we're one of those lovely things that the, the two of you, your characters, yeah. uh, the two of them have been together for such a long time, yeah. and how they got together was so lovely. Well, we, uh, yeah, uh, Amy sold me a, a, some ivory-topped pencils at the end of series one, and suddenly oh. we've been married for 15 years. Who needs Facebook when you yeah. to start with some like jobs, 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 in, Facebook. jobs in, in, in telly don't, don't happen like that. I didn't even know I was going to be in the second series, let alone married to Kitty. Mm. Um, I, 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 they've got rocky times ahead, let me put it that way, and I very much hope they work it out because, you know, he loves her very much. He just, he's, he's, he's not the. He's not the trousers in the relationship, and he no. doesn't quite know how to play that. He was a fool. But it's all, I mean, not, not that part of it, but the series is over. Mm. Is it, it is. It has to be, because Mr Selfridge has a very publicised and quite famous fall. He loses a lot of his money, and he gets involved with these uh, twins called the Dolly Sisters, and, um, and they spend quite a lot of his money, and all that's true. So we can't not do that, because he's a real person. Mm. But it's, it's been such a big part of your life. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking, yeah. in the you've had a baby in the meantime, yep. and you've got this, this sort of double family. Yeah, I've had family. The two, two families to As go an actor, to. to have a long-running show that you all immersed in and love, and then suddenly it's come to an end. It's I know. We had a little bit of notice, but it's, it, it was a very blessed time, and I will miss it very much. Mm. It's, I mean, it was a summer job for four years. It was gorgeous. How fab. Yeah. Tell us about your mum and dad, because um, they've just won an award, haven't yes. they? Yes, yeah. Canal Bargees of, of the Year. Yeah, it's sort of made-up award from the old Don't say it's made-up. No, no, I, so, um, they're it's very, very, very pleased. No, they, they absolutely deserve it, and yeah. they've done a lot for canals, as I say to them. If in ten years' time we're still boating and we can't find a mooring, it's going to be their fault. <laughs> <laughs> their journey, I mean, not just the canal journey, but obviously their relationship has moved so many people. You, you know, how, how is your mum doing at the moment? She's all right. She's, she said the other day that she wants to keep working she doesn't she's not really able to learn lines anymore mm -hmm. but she's still doing um, recitals and voiceovers and I'm sure if as people held her hand she could do a very good radio play I mean she, you know like all actors there's no retirement plan no of course you have to keep going till you drop and um, you know, she's still a very sprightly 83-year-old. Mm. Wow. So, uh, so amazing, let's let's hope so. International Bargees of the Year. I mean, you could just travel around the world, sort of. Well, as they're the, doing as another they. series of of, uh, of canal of canal journeys. They're just slightly running out of canals. <laughs> 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 just do them from the start. It's absolutely lovely to see you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks so much.